People come up with ideas and they're still on paper when they go and talk to financiers. Who the hell is going to put money into that? We're not set up to have an immersive technology lab. We're not set up to showcase stuff in the, in the way that you can do in this rather extraordinary building. For us, the value of working with Digital Catapult is that they're an organisation who does this every day. We give 20 companies the opportunity to pitch to investors and to stand in front of a marketplace of commissioners and producers that could give them the opportunity to take a prototype to full production. Digital Catapult seems to be bringing in the cream of the crop. We're seeing amazing pitches and demos of stuff that I hadn't even imagined. I think Creative XR is really unique in being a market and a showcase in the way that it enables its creators. To be in a position where you can enable 20 teams to have prototypes to help them move their idea forward is really amazingly compelling and exciting. I think that that's important to be able to have a little bit more tangible evidence that this team is worth investing in. And that's fundamentally what we're here to do. We're helping not just with the support, the mentoring, the finance, but also introducing them to the variety of people they cannot get access to. We need to share our view on the future of the market, of the future of the business. In putting a marketplace next to Creative XR, what we've done is given people an opportunity to take this prototype and take it much, much further. The level of expertise the, the step up of, of the game is really evident here. The chance to meet people of this caliber, this many decision makers across many different platforms from tech to venues and festivals, you just wouldn't find that anywhere else in the UK. We have the content divisions of HTC Vive from Taiwan, from Oculus content in the West Coast. We've got all the big, you know, the big festivals here. Epic next to Intel, next to Samsung, next to Kaleidoscope. I was absolutely floored. Without projects, there is no market. And without funders, there are no projects. You need initiatives like this to kind of like try and bring them together. I think I love the spectrum of stuff that is just kind of fully an art form to strong social impact issues to fashion, everything, some sort of comment on society. What I thought was really interesting this morning was just how many projects have theatre in them. And then a lot of these projects are also really pushing the technology, so they're bringing AI and machine learning. We had one example where the entire experience was wearing a blackout mask and listening to audio. I immediately knew there was an opportunity for Bose to jump in, give them a short demo of what we do, and then immediately see that aha moment with the creator. We really need to be thinking about all the parties involved, whether it's the person who is experiencing it, creating it, distributing it, funding it. All of those people have to have a benefit and that way it becomes, you know, sort of a um, virtuous circle and one that will continue to, um, you know, to grow and uh, evolve.